What's going on guys? Welcome back to FamCast. This is episode 16. I'm Trevor and I'm here with two of my co-hosts today. I've got Trey. What up? And Tim. Heyo! And we are gathered here on this wonderful Sunday to talk about Tokyo Game Show. Ah, uh, yes. Kind of a, a, a bittersweet uh, time of the year because it's a very exciting convention, but it's also kind of the, the last one of the year. So kind of a... Uh, PSX. Oh, that's true. We got PSX in, <laughs> in December, but this kind of like wraps up everything before uh, before all these holiday releases. It's true. So, uh, I mean, after, after this for the next couple of months, it's just game after game. So we're kind of getting into the uh, the thick of it here. Um, but we did see some some pretty cool things at Tokyo Game Show this year. Um, I I, I kind of know my favorites, but I, I know Trey, you're you're kind of more invested uh, than I am personally. So I'll let you kind of kick things off and uh, see where you want to take this. Um, so I will, I will immediately start off with, um, Left Alive. Oh my God. Yeah. I can't wait for that game. For sure. Um, uh, it's, it's Yoji Shinkawa. For those who don't know, that is, um, Kojima's other hand. Um, he does all his character designs and man, this character is in, in this game already look amazing. Um, and it's also, uh, Toshifumi Nabashima who did, um, Armored Core. Um, and it is... Um, Takayuki Yansai, who did um, Xenoblade, like the the model, like the um, mech designs for uh, Xenoblade and Metal Gear, not Metal Gear. Yeah, he did Metal Gear too. And um, can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. He oh, did cool. some of the, the models in those games. And then the Final Fantasy brand manager is uh, heading this as well. So this is going to be a powerhouse of a game. For sure. I can't wait. The trailer was very ominous and very short, unfortunately. But Zach said it was actually based out of, or um, kind of like in the same universe as another game series. Oh, really? Yeah, I forget what it was. It was something like, I know it wasn't Armored Core, but it was something like it. Um, Fuck. I I wish Zach was here because he he would know exactly what I was talking about. I've not Um, seen anything on this game at all. Uh, Okay. I, I miss pretty much all of Tokyo Game Show because of the iPhone launch thing. So That's okay. <laughs> this will this will be a good eye opener for you, Tim. Yeah, for sure. Me it. What is this? This sounded cool. You said it was called what was it called again? Left Alive. Left Alive. It, well, any idea what it's about? Um all they're calling it right now is a survival action shooter. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I've heard some people say it's uh gonna kinda fill the fill the the void that Metal Gear left. That's gonna which, be a very it's, large void. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that can, but I am very interested to see where this this goes. Like me- mech games alone are always pretty cool, but for it to be like a like a survival action kind of game with mechs, really yeah. interested to see what what they do with this. Uh, just Yoji Shinkawa. That Toshifumi. that art is just it's amazing. It, it, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Uh, and then uh, next up to bat, uh, we have Monster Hunter Worlds has a, a release date. Um, it yeah. came out with a new trailer that looks amazing, but it's uh, January 26th. Oh, the, not too the far release off. Release date of yeah, next that, year. Yep. That, that's right around the corner, dude. That game, uh, that game, uh. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Pretty much. I'm so excited for that game. <laughs> Pretty much. That, that's all you have to say. It looks gorgeous. It does. Just, oh god, it looks amazing. Now, originally, um, I thought it was a, a PS4 exclusive, but they they said it's coming Xbox as well. Yep, Xbox and PC as well. How do you believe? Gotcha. Oh man, that on PC would be that's would be insane. Be on PC. <laughs> I don't even know if my computer would run it, but we'll right. see. I've been uh, surprised before. So I'm I'm personally really excited for it because I have never played a Monster Hunter game before. Oh man, they're so good. Oh yeah, and from what what you guys have told me, like just how how much time you actually have to like you know take and like tracking all these these different uh animals and you know taking them down it's not just like a like a hack and slash there's actually like strategy to it it, it sounds mm-hmm. really fun I'm, I'm really looking forward to sitting down and putting many hours into this for sure yeah i've got a feeling that's going to be a, a couple a couple fam episodes long for sure oh for sure and uh, <laughs> a co-op as well right oh yeah yeah that'll be awesome yeah four player co-op taking down monsters i mean that's like perfect i can't wait oh yeah absolutely so I'd, so the fam's gonna be taking down monsters together yeah i don't know tim depends on if you join another clan or not I should, oh all right, all right. I, I, okay Dang. all right Ele- uh elephant in the room uh tim tim has a a previous obligation with a with a different destiny 2 clan um so he has 
He has not joined our clan. He he still played with us a few times, but uh, he's and still, still willing another... to. Correct. Yeah, That's fine. he's still willing you are. to. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. We we don't we don't mind. We don't Whatever mind. you we want still to do. Love you. It's okay. Sorry. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> we'll see. Um, next on the chopping block, I will say uh, Final Fantasy IX was um, announced and released on PS4. Oh yeah. Um, all HD remastered. It's pretty cool. Um, and then sticking with Final Fantasy, we also got a an announcement of Noctis uh, being included into the Final Fantasy Dissidia NT game, which looks pretty cool. I don't know if anyone else has played Final Fantasy Dissidia, but it's a interesting arcade arena style fighter. You know, speaking, of, I think it was Dissidia. Did they do a Final Fantasy Seven Dissidia? No. No. What did they do? There's Final Fantasy VII cool. characters in Dissidia. There's... What was it called? There's a Final Fantasy VII game that was for the PSP. It was something, Dissidia. Something core. Something core. Something... Oh, Crisis Core. Crisis Core. That was it. You know, funny story. Final Fantasy Crisis Core, believe it or not, I know, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, was the first Final Fantasy game I ever played. And wow. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> what? Absolutely hated it. Damn. 100%. Because it wasn't the turn-based... Uh, like mechanics I thought it was going to be I was just like wow this is terrible I was not expecting this kind of game I was wanting it to be way better Um, yep. I'm kind of hurt right now I know everyone ever, everyone always is it's fine but like have you played 7? no but like I want to play 7 when they oh, do this damn. remaster that thing that that's why out. you didn't like it well it's probably true that's okay we'll, we'll get you to playing we'll, we'll get you to play 7 Oh, we'll we'll just wait till the HD remake whenever that comes out. The Super Omega two part game. Yeah, because yeah, I've still got the. Yeah. I still have the the remaster that they did for or whatever you I guess you call it a remaster. I don't I don't know how you describe a. Uh, I I don't know a re release. Yeah, because re release. Yeah, the uh, the one that they did on PS4. It just like it's it's the same same game, but they just like polished it up a little bit. Um, with like yeah. you, you have like the cheat codes to where you can like speed it up so it's not so long. And then one hit I, KOs and shit, right? Well, yeah, yeah. If you want to go that far, if you want to do like one hit KOs and and like bring your health back, I'm like, man, there's no fun in that. Like at that point, I might as well just like watch a playthrough online. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I I played through that a little bit, but it's hard to go through older games anymore, man. Like I think unless you, for someone like me that didn't play it growing up, it's harder for me to to make it through there now. Like, if Trey were to go through Final Fantasy VII, I'm sure it'd be a lot easier for him because he'd be like, oh, yeah, I remember this moment. It was, it was really cool. <laughs> for me, for me, I'm just like, man, I've got to sit through all this text. I've got work in the morning. Like, yeah. it, anymore, like, with full-time jobs, it's harder to sit through, like, long JRPGs like that. Right. Uh, I'm so excited for that game, though. It's going to be but, so pretty. Oh, yeah. Just because it's running off of the Final Fantasy XV stuff, like, engine. Oh, man. And fifteen Oof. was just gorgeous. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of fifteen, um, we had a bunch of announcements for that game. Um, we also we we already knew about the mobile version, uh, Pocket Edition, which I'm definitely gonna play. I mean, Final Fantasy fifteen on the go. And wait, I think it looks adorable. Wait, wait, like Tim, don't tell me you didn't know about this either. Okay, are you talking about the one that they've been advertising, where it's like a like a like a uh, it's like a Clash Royale or not? Clash no, Royale, Clash no, 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 God, no. Damn, no, that, never talk about that game. <laughs> no, that one's bad. That one's bad. So, what is this new one? They're taking Final Fantasy 15, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. make it into a mobile game. They're changing the the art style so it like it's it's runnable. Like obviously. little like chibi characters. Okay. Yeah, it's all it's all cartoony looking, but it looks really cool. I I think it's cute. I'm yeah, excited okay. to play it. It's cute seeing um, same game. They talked about Final Fantasy 15 on PC, which looks amazing, of course even more so than it did on console. Um, it says it'll come out next year. Um, and then we also have Final Fantasy XV Universe, which is like the next uh, DLC stuff, which is like a, the almost MMORPG style. You and your friends running around, beating up stuff. That's the, the co-op stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I do believe so. so. So speaking to that, so I got some things. So I, <laughs> again, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I didn't beat Final Fantasy 15. I bought it, played it for a couple days. So did I. Just it's okay. Was kind it's of, okay. But this mobile game is supposed to be the full version, 
Is that the I, idea? I'm assuming so. That's which is crazy, but okay, I would probably do that. That'd be cool. That'd be fantastic. Uh, I wonder. If, like, two two things. Two things on this matter. One, I wonder if they're going to make it a, a game like that to where it can run on mobile. If we'll see a Switch port, because you know, maybe I don't know. Right. Um. But that'd be awesome. Secondly. This MMO version aspect that you're saying is multiplayer online thing, kind of like a, when you say that, I'm picturing like GTA Online, but for Final Fantasy. Um, is w- will I have to beat the main game to you know like, or can I just? Be I like, would, hey, I don't think so. Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I mean, yeah. I haven't heard details yet. I just know it's it's called com- uh, Comrades and it's um, DLC for multiplayer, and that's that's the extent of what I know. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I was looking at something else. Eh, that's fine. Fantastic. Um, yeah, they had like a whole like trailer thing for just Final Fantasy 15. I think I was kind of skipping through it just to get these notes done. But anyways, <laughs> um, they also had, there's an old game. I don't know if you guys ever played it, but it's called King's Knight. Anyone? Sounds very familiar. Sounds mm-hmm. sounds very familiar. <gasps> okay, so it's basically uh, like a bullet hell kind of game. Um, but there's characters you pick from that all do different things that unlock different parts of the level and you go through these levels with each character you unlock different endings and stuff like that but they're making a mobile version of that and I'm kind of excited because King's Knight was a pretty damn fun game hmm um, but that's that's pretty much it as far as Square that I can think of um, next up I have well, down uh, Dragon's Crown I was Yay. gonna say before you before you jump into um, uh, or past the the square stuff, I, I wanted to touch on the Final Fantasy IX real quick. Oh yeah. Um, just because um, I know you mentioned it, it's available for uh, for re-release now or for mm-hmm. uh, download. I because I never played nine. Was that the, what which one was that? That one was the. Do you remember like me talking about Vivi, like the Black Magic or Black Mage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's where he came from. Okay. Or Zidane. Um, was that and this was this was the last one on PS One, right? Yes. Because then X uh, Ten was the first one on PS Two. PS Two. Yep. Correct. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that one's. I'd, I don't know. It's it's not my favorite. Everyone says like a lot of people say it's their favorite, but really say that nine's yeah. their favorite. Yeah, I'm, I'm hmm. just a little more keen to seven because it's. I mean, I'm also like emotionally tied to that game, so. Right, I just couldn't get over the, the look of nine. But VV is also one of my favorite characters in Final Fantasy. But, whatever. Cool. I I just wanted to touch on that real quick because I wasn't too familiar. Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah um, moving to jump it back to to Dragon's Crown though. Dragon's Crown. Oh man, this game is gorgeous. Same people who made uh, Miramasa, same people who made. Um, wow, it's blanking on me right now. But basically, like that art style just made the genre of side-scrolling anime beat 'em ups, and it's it's amazing. It looks like Dragon's Crown was godlike before. I'm excited to play it again. Yeah. Is it just a uh, a remaster? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe it's a remaster? I think there was there a DLC in the original. I can't remember. They may be adding some new stuff into it, but either way i i give me more dragon's crown give me dragon's crown 2 if, if they could but i'm okay with this is uh ps4 exclusive i'm assuming yes i do believe so which would make sense because the last one was ps vita and ps3 uh, yeah right. i i played a lot of dragon's crown myself i know when that game came out because it's like that it's like that hand-drawn art style you know yep. and that's what makes it first off stand out from many many other games but it's a it's like a side-scrolling Diablo-esque type thing. Like it's it's not Diablo because it's not really dungeon crawling. But at the same time, it's the loot grind. It's 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 oh man. I remember this is playing. beautiful. Yeah, like everything about the game that. is just so nice to look at, to listen to. Oh yeah, amazing. The, yeah, the music the music was always really cool. The the class selection was neat. It was just. A game I remember pumping because I remember when it came out to Vita, I got super stoked because it came, actually I think it came out the same time. I think it came out the same time as both, and it had it had cross play because I remember you were able to con- play on your PlayStation Three and play yeah. it, and then port your saver over to your Vita and continue onward. That when they were promoting like that big aspect, and mm-hmm. it was just oh my gosh, that game was so good. It was the uh, what did Kojima used to call it? Transfaring, right? No transfaring, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, good times. 
Uh, speaking of Kojima, I guess we could talk about um, Zony Ender's second runner. Yeah, that actually would be really on, cool. Yeah, on PS4, and uh, it's going to have VR functionality, which I'm interested in. A 4K as well. Yeah, man. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Zony Ender's is like a, it's a, it's a mech fighter um, with a story, a really good story. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. I mean, it's, Cause it's, it's Kojima. Because so. it's, a, it's a remake of the... Um, the games but it's also the vr one is a separate thing like all yep. on its own right mm-hmm. i do believe so cool. something to do with mars i thought mars yeah, something, yeah. Or something mars uh mars mission something? i don't know maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah whatever i'll look it up um, yeah always excited for for more of his stuff even though they probably boat. they probably didn't even have to get his permission they're just like oh fuck it we we own all kojima stuff now so probably let's, let's just re-release no, it and Konami. not give him any money Right. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I was going to say, uh, speaking of VR, uh, we have a VR Neko Itsune. I know Trevor's kind of excited about that one, yeah? Yeah, like, <laughs> that That game's uh, that game's fucking awesome. The little uh, cat collecting game on mobile for those... Uh, it's, a, it's like a Japanese game. I'd, um, it's probably big maybe a year, year, maybe two, two ago, but you just, like, you buy different, like, cat toys and cat foods and different cats, like, come... Um, you collect them and name them. And it's it's just like a stupid uh, like time sink, um, but, it, <laughs> but it, it was fun. Mm, what? Uh, mm. So okay, hmm. Okay, so it's a cat game. Which okay, whatever, cool. Everyone has their own thing, right? I'm just I'm trying to picture a game like that where you like you said it's a time sink where you are going to get into this 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 VR headset of ours, right? Right. And you're yeah. gonna sit in there and just play it and then get out of it like like I, I can't picture a game like that doing well in vr <laughs> no no don't don't get me wrong i don't understand why it's coming to vr i just i like nico Etsume and so fuck it do it in like, vr whatever I, like, i'm interested yeah. i think it'd be fun yeah i guess i don't know i never played nico Etsume. i just i just remember trevor always showing me all the different cats he got right like I get the game, I get the draw to the game with the whole cats on your phone, and oh hey, check this out, awesome, awesome, awesome. I just, I don't feel like a game. Like that'd be like me saying, man, Clash of Clans of VR would be amazing. No. But you would, you would buy it. I know you okay. would. Okay. 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 Actually, that would be a probably way more amazing than what I think it would be. Could you imagine that in VR, looking at your place, and oh my gosh. Okay, I'm down. I'm buying cats or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, well, um, the last thing that I saw big from Sony, at least, was the announcement and another trailer of Shadow of the Colossus HD. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. man. I mean, they they re-released it already, but this one is going to be more of a... I, I don't know if it, it would call it a remaster, or I, I say a redux, I suppose. It's gonna be in four K. Like it's not just like they're re- they're they're not just like um like what they did with uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Like this is, from my understanding, it was like a pretty much like a complete re- redo. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's beautiful, like right. even the, more so than the original. Yeah, like they're not just reskinning it. Like this is actually like rebuilding the game from the yeah. ground up, which is cool because I'm I'm excited for it again. But I I didn't grow up with with Sony consoles, so there's a lot of really good games I missed out on. So I, I'm a real big fan of the remasters because it allows me to um, actually go in and, and get to replay these games, yeah, especially play since the best version of the games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it, because I I think a lot of that is going back to what I said about Final Fantasy VII, how it's kind of hard to get through since I didn't grow up with it. I think when they do these remasters, it it makes it easier for an, another round of people that haven't played before to get through the game. Very true. Not the, I'm not like um, I'm not a graphic snob. Like I, you know, it's more about gameplay for me and story. For sure. Um, so it's not like the graphics keep me from playing, but it it sure wouldn't fucking hurt, <laughs> so, you know, playing playing through a gorgeous game like Shadow of Colossus. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll be good once that comes out. I'm I'm looking forward to that for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be dope, dude. I'm I'm looking forward to play that one. Yeah, I'll probably watch you play that one, just like I yeah. watched you play fifteen, but. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get some good playthroughs in for that uh, for, for sure. sure. Um, um, one thing I wanted to, because uh, I know we're kind of getting to the end of, of Sony's part here, but one thing um, I wanted to cycle back on was uh, Monster Hunter again. Oh yeah. Because uh, I know I mentioned, or we mentioned, like the the new gameplay and the release date and co-op. 
But one thing that they showed off that I hope we get over over in the U.S. is that uh, PS4 Pro. Oh, yes. Oh, that thing my is gosh. nice looking. I think it's gorgeous. Never and seen cause it. Because not, not only do I, like, I need a PS4 Pro anyways, but to, to get a special edition, that'd be pretty cool. Like, yeah. I know some people are kind of salty about the, uh, the Destiny 2 PS4 not being all glyphed out like it was from the Taken King. Yeah. But I think they're going to do that with whatever DLC they come out with this game. But we'll see. Yeah. I'm cool with the white. It matches with my current white anyways, but Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want that Monster Hunter one. I would totally take Monster. that over a white PS4. It was like a wasn't it a dark red or th- at least the controller was like a dark red. Yeah, the controller's like the Rathalos red and then the console was like black with like um I think it's got like the gold like gold leaf Rathalos on it or something like that. But oh, it looks cool. gorgeous. Oh yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it just has yeah. like the that kind of sigil mm-hmm. thing on there. That go oh, man, that game. I'm so excited. Uh, well, I mean, guys. Speaking of Monster Hunter, we can talk about um, Monster Hunter being added into Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, all the the DLC for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she looks amazing. Probably one of the best looking characters, I would say, in the game. Um, also, the I feel like they they took the time to actually get this character to look good. If that makes sense. There's never you... been a Monster Hunter character in correct. Marvel, yeah, correct? this is the or first Marvel's Monster Capcom? Hunter character in Marvel's Capcom. Very Apple. cool. Yeah, her it's move is really fun. She's got a crazy armor attack that like absorbs everything. Man, everyone needs to check out that trailer ASAP because she looks really cool. Rathalos DLC confirmed. Rathalos DLC be- <laughs> uh, better be confirmed. <laughs> I want to say Rathalos. That'd be amazing. Right. Need some big body characters in that game. Well, speaking of, we got a confirmation of Venom, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we got a whole confirmation of that entire leaked list of Venom, Black Widow, Winter Soldier, and who else was it? Oh, Monster Hunter. Yeah, duh. Yeah, those four. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. Oh, we got gameplay of Resident Evil Seven. Uh, not a hero. I don't know if you saw that, Tim. Yes, I did. I haven't got to watch it entirely but I'm excited for it. Give me more Resident Evil 7, please. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested I'm, to see what they yeah. do with this new storyline. Yeah. I'm super stoked for, for it. I'm just... I, I just want more Resident Evil 7, like you said. Like, the first game was so good. I gosh darn it, that first game was so... I, pl- I think when that game came out, I probably played that game for almost a month straight. Like, I beat it in a I couple of days, it. but I played it so much because I didn't care. It was just so much fun. I remember that. Like, you were... That's when we were uh, we said we were gonna get you ready for uh, for speed runs for uh, right. SGDQ. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so good. Yep, I should do a speed run for the Halloween event. That'd be cool. That would be. I'd, I'd I'd like to see how fast Tim could get through Resident Evil Seven. It'd be a good time. Oh man, and you know it's funny because I haven't really touched Resident Evil Seven since like that month that I played it straight, just because I got so like I'm just so ready to see more of the story. Like honestly, I I I'm I love the story and how things went in Resident Evil Seven so much that they could just put out a short video, a short movie of story back back you know what's happening, blah, and I would be perfectly fine just sitting there watching it, not playing anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what what they're gonna do with this world now. Yeah, I want to see how they they tie it back because I I know I'm not as as big a fan of Resident Evil as you guys are, but I I kind of pick up on a, on a few things that you guys tell me. Mm-hmm. But since this one was kind of so so separated from everything until the the end when you know Chris shows up, I'm interested to see how they kind of reel everything back in and, and kind of tie things together. Right. Um, if if they tie things together. Right. With yeah. Games, or if it's we'll you know a soft reboot like people people are guessing. I don't believe but that. They, they, because they said the only thing that I saw that was confirmed was uh, Chris is working for a company called New Umbrella. Correct. Boo, lazy name. Boo. <laughs> right. So, like, <laughs> what, what is New Umbrella? Like, it's, what? What? It's blue and white now. Okay, it's not red and white, guys. Jeez, it's we're not evil. Different. We're not evil. Blue, blue isn't an evil color. Right, it's we're, a soft color. But okay. why would you call yourself Umbrella? Like, why not like parcel or something parcel Par- we're right. parcel or parasol right is that is that the other word for i don't know but yeah, i like parasol, parasol better no nope, peaches I'm... peaches parasol nope. peaches parasol yep we're using parcel that's, you... parcel? We're also getting no, that's, a... that's like ups that's getting... <laughs> a piece of paper we're also getting a resident that's evil parchment. revelations <laughs> one and what? two wait what this is we're already also getting a thing. A... well we're getting it again 
for <laughs> the next generation. But Wait, what? I, I just downloaded Resident Evil Revelations 1 on my, my Xbox like a week ago. Well, we're getting 1 and 2 HD remaster together. I do believe it's what they're, they're going with. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So that's Stop the thing. Stop this train. Stop this train. If I just... Um, if, mm. If no, just, they, they, <laughs> no, that that can't be the case. Like, it, they might be doing a bundle. Okay. But like, okay. Yeah, there's no way that they're two separate things. Like, you probably no. bought number one, and then when number two comes out, you'll have you'll have the same exact thing. Okay. That he's talking about. Let's hope. Yeah, let's hope. Um, the only thing that I could gather from Nintendo at the last minute with my notes was uh, Fire Emblem Warriors got a new trailer. Showing mm. off Tiki, Lin, the twins from the mobile game, and uh, a few other characters that I can't remember the name of, but that's all I can think of from Nintendo, if anyone else has anything to add in all that. No, no uh, not not as far as Tokyo Game Show goes. I didn't really see a whole lot from them. Um, yeah, we got that kind of their, their show last week, I guess you could say. Well, they've, they've kind of got a lot coming out, um, mm-hmm. so that I don't think they had anything real big to announce, but... Like we like next week we have uh, this um, NES classic. Yep. Um, so that'll be big. Then the last Friday we just had Pokemon Tournament DX, and then October sixth we've got um, Mario and Luigi Saga, which I know uh, myself and Trey are super excited for because we yeah. used to play the shit out of those games. Yes. The the turn based Mario games were fucking awesome. Okay. Luigi but- had the lightning powers and. What's that? Is this is this turn based though? Like, is this going to be turn based? Because the yeah yeah the, Superstar Saga. Did you never play it? Well, I used to play. Like, I played in ba- Bowser's Inside Story, and that was no, yeah. that's the third that one. Was, that Ooh. was okay. That was yeah. bad. Ooh. I didn't care for that. But like, okay, so Paper we're Mario. we're talking Game Boy Advance, right? So so Paper Mario, Paper Mario originally started off as a turn based thing, and I yes. absolutely loved it. Freaking fantastic, right? Fantastic, loved it. Then jump to the the GameCube one continued that Thousand Year Door Thousand yeah, Year Door probably amazing. the best Paper Mario game out was Thousand Year Door another one that me and Trey went through for hours on end yes. absolutely I totally remember watching you play that Trevor yeah All this time. was so good so fucking cool the the little Yoshi sidekick you got yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> and and now a lot of Paper Mario is stupid non turn based things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and it just no, annoys it. me. Like I love turn based games. Turn based games are one of my favorite games ever because it's it's more about strategy than just oh let's go hack and slash. Absolutely love strategy type games like that. Which is why I thought buying Final Fantasy seven on my PSP would be a good idea. But it is a good idea. I mean that's that's why you gotta get uh you gotta get Mario and Luigi. So because you you know you like it. It's gonna be turn based, I will probably thoroughly well, enjoy you played it. it. You said you played it, right? I played I played Bowser's Inside Story, and it was kind of... That's the only game. one you played? Yeah. That's the only one I played. You gotta play Superstar Saga. It's the best Dude, one. Dude, yeah, Superstar Saga is where it's at. That's the first one. So this is what, Superstar Saga 2 coming out? Or? No, no, it's just this Superstar is, Saga... Uh, this is a remake. Bowser's, oh! Bowser's Means is what it's called or something like that? Yeah, Bowser's Means, because they've got like a separate mode to where you can like you can play as the bad guys, and I think it's like a strategy-based game. So it's a remake of the original one. and stuff. Correct. Yeah, remake uh, of the original. And it's on 3DS or Switch? 3DS. 3DS. Okay. Also, super important notes for people who are into Pokemon. Don't forget, Gold and Silver re-released on 3DS eShop. Go get it now. $10. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could just pick up Heart Gold or Soul Silver not and you same. have a much better experience. Not the same. Yeah, That's it's not, not the same because you have a better experience. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't get to live the classics of, oh, remember when I had to use to play this under a lamp? awesome okay it is not 2001 anymore i am not going to suffer through that so but yeah but here's a big difference okay so or silver and gold remakes on 3ds will get uh uh pokey bank uh incorporation so meh yeah or i could just transfer all the stuff from heart gold and soul silver you to can't one of do the that. newer games to do the same yes, you can yeah, you can okay yes, but you, you can. okay you could do that but you can't just go to pokey bank okay you know what yeah, trevor you, can. you, you can't you can't you can't use soul silver and and Heart Gold with Pokey Bank. It does not compatible. Sure? I'm 100 percent positive it's not compatible. Okay. Um, well, you know what? Yeah. I I think that for nostalgia purposes, it's cool. Yeah, that, that's awesome that, that you can go back and, and play those games. I I remember picking up uh, Gold from Walmart when my uh, my parents took us to Walmart. My so, uh, my sister got Silver. I remember the exact spot that I sat in Steak and Shake when I started playing, and when Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out. Me and Trey 
went and sat at Steak and Shake and played Heart Gold and Soul Silver. We did. Okay. We did. At that same exact booth. Okay. Then so I have an emotional attachment to this <laughs> game, so don't think that I'm trying to disrespect it. I appreciate it for what it is, but I can't suffer through that when there's a better version of the same exact game that I can play. I'm going to take you to that Walmart. I'm going to buy that it's, game for well, you. It's on not your there 3DS. anymore. Okay, it's not well, there we're, we're still going to go to that anymore. spot. We're still going to go to that spot. Okay, we're going to go there. It's a Bed Bath and Beyond now. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll find this out. There. Yeah, let's do it. And then, and then we're going to go to Steak and Shake, and you're going to play it. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, Tim, thank you for letting me relive this dream of mine that I never knew I needed. You're welcome, Trevor. Yep. Yep. I'm I'm sure I would love that so much to to sit and suffer through a, a slower, outdated game. You will. I. Yep. Cool. I can't cannot wait. Can't thank you so wait. much. Can't wait. Can I get Mario Maker? Or I could. Now? I could just wait until Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon comes out. It's true. You can do that. Sure. You can have actual gym battles. Oh yeah, I guess uh, they they're bringing back oh, really? that orange, the mm-hmm. orange 2DS. I think it's been talk. Did it talk about that? Whatever. Yeah. Well, we're getting the orange 2DS that was only available in Europe, and I can't wait to get that one because orange. That would be you cool. Can see, as you can see everywhere in my room, well, not everyone in my room, but all of my accessories on my computer are orange. It's gonna be dope. I'm getting it. That War Greymon orange. Yeah, man. <laughs> War Greymon. Yes. That's oh yeah, and there's like a a blue, a blue and white one, and then also a black and green one, Xbox style. That's Looks cool. Really That's cool. I like that. Oh, you know what? Speaking of War Greymon, aren't we supposed to be getting a good Digimon game? Isn't that supposed to be happening? Yeah. Wasn't it's Cyber Sleuth out, good? Yeah, Cyber Sleuth. Okay, is it out? Yeah, yeah it's, it's been out for out. like over a year. What? I heard yeah, that. Dude. Yeah, I heard like really good things about it. What? what what's thought. it on? PS4. Ah, oh, that's probably why. <laughs> Womp womp. So, womp womp womp. so are you like completely against buying PS4 games? No, I'm not. Like, okay, so what's that game that came out on PS4 that was like Dark Souls series, but it wasn't, it was Neo? Ninja Bloodborne? One? Neo, Neo, <clears throat> oh. Neo. So Neo was a blast. I bought it, enjoyed what I played of it. I just, I, I'll pick it up. I'll play, like I played the Crash Bandicoot collection because it's nostalgia, glory, amazingness. Uh, mm-hmm. But like, and I'll play the Uncharted's on it, and I'll play The Last of Us because it's the best Bloodborne? game ever. Bloodborne, I played. But there are just like times where like I hear, oh, it's only on PS4, and I just kind of like, because I can't get achievements. I'm sorry, I can't get achievements. It well, just Tim. bothers me. Well, it's if not. You're, if you're not looking Microsoft's to get rid of a that... PS4, sir, I know a guy who needs one. <laughs> oh. it, it's not Microsoft's fault that uh, Sony has the better exclusives right now, and they're not doing anything about it. I know. I feel like we should do like a whole other podcast on like what Nintendo games think should come back. Ooh, like what series? Yeah, Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, where is that? We all did. Did you guys see that tweet that they put out? No. Yeah, the the one that I replied to. That pissed me off so what? bad. What that was that? salt in the wound. The one that they were like, oh, uh, Animal Crossing is however many years old today. Think of all like all the bells that Tom Nook's gotten. And I was like, I, I replied back to him. I'm like, well, obviously not, not enough bells to get a Switch port at this point. <laughs> I don't even like, want a Switch on. port, dude. I want a or, whole not new a port. game. Yeah, sorry. I, a new game, not a port. Because we haven't had an Animal Crossing game since the 3DS one, right? Since the New Leaf, since I worked at GameStop. Right, since we played it early and had a great time with it. What are you talking about, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> we did not play it early. We uh, played it on release date on and release date. There, that point afterwards. Yes. Yes. Jeez. Oh, man, that game was so good. Like, yes. I, 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 that was like a, that was a tough time. At, uh, that was a tough point in my life. So Animal Crossing definitely helped get me through for sure. Definitely. Driving home from Piqua after, after some rough personal stuff and just like sitting down. Fishing, dude. Fishing. Oh man, that game was so was relaxing. Oh. oh yeah, they showed off fishing for Final Fantasy 15. It looks really cool. Oh yeah, I haven't I played any of the Final Fantasy DLC yet, so we tried to get in line for that at E3. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I uh, I would love them to have an Animal Crossing game that is like an MMO. Would absolutely love it to where yeah. like me, Trey, Trevor, we're all in like the same village together, and you know maybe I'll log on and see you fishing somewhere, and I could just sit there and fish beside you. Like, oh my I do gosh. like the idea of like having like a almost like a like a guild system to where like you could like say you have like you've got your town right, right. and it's just like your regular sized town, 
but say you can like merge it um like with up to up to four people max so like me you like like us three and like say zach or someone okay. we all get animal crossing so like me and tim merge towns so like not only do we get to share like the same villagers um but like we get like extra land and everything and maybe that unlocks like maybe new kinds of fish or um i don't know events in town or something who knows what it could do worlds collide exactly like a four block sort of thing oh yeah yeah yeah. not i I wouldn't want it yeah i I wouldn't want to be like like the city folk thing because i didn't like the the city aspect i liked it being small villages like to where it's like just grass and trees and all that but it'd be cool if it could unlock some new things like um like if all four of our towns were connected um i don't know i just think that'd be kind of a cool guild type system yeah, to man. where you, you just un- unlock new things and you have that community kind of feel yeah that'd be dope and and that way be... you still you still feel like you have your own town right uh without without it being because i feel like if you like in the very first gamecube version when you shared it 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 kind of wasn't fair to like the other like two or three people that that would live there too because it's like well it's not really my town i just kind of live here right like they also need to bring back the police station in the lost and found (laughs) that shit was awesome i found some sweet shit in the lost and found imagine imagine if you're supposed to return that to people (laughs) yeah trevor no no i lost it i lost it and they found it for me yeah (laughs) like what's this uh a a metroid tank in the lost and found i guess i'll I'll take that i'll take that (laughs) imagine if they did that and then this is just a competitive part of me coming out. But then they had like a Bell's leaderboard and like you could compete against other people's like villages Hell for yeah. like you know, who has like the most bells like like right. generate. Like that would dude, you know how much I would play that game at that point? Like, like more so than I do like, now. For sure. Some type of like cross town animal like, crossing Olympics sort of right. thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. It oh be yeah, so that'd be so cool. Like mini games. Like it'd be like Mario Party. Oh, oh wait, no. my gosh. They did it's that okay. already and that game was garbage. Like, <laughs> or if you could, um, or if you could do like your like set your own events. Like I know they have like the fishing tourneys. Let's right. say so you could like like set your own up. Like say we're having like a charity stream or something. Granted, oh, I, that'd be genius. Yeah, yeah. Just like hey, Let's... hey guys, come over. We're like we're doing like a like an Animal Crossing like tournament marathon. So we're doing like you know fishing tournament now and then bug catching tournament and instead of it being just like the, I know sometimes they're only like a couple hours, but just make it like a like a full thing to where like as the time goes on, like maybe like more like rarer bugs start to appear so it's like be- it becomes oh. more of a i don't know dude you're getting me oh. too now, we're, now we're just we're yeah. i was gonna say now we're now we're hurting ourselves we're just like, <laughs> yeah. let's not get too far with this we'll, oh. we'll we'll continue this conversation in our you know what do we want on the switch to come uh, like what do right. we want to return like what let's, let's just do a nintendo podcast how about that yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll let's, return to that like a, um, but yeah. let's, let's bring it back to to tgs real quick yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a few a few last things to touch on, uh, mainly about Sega and some other like third company or third party uh, people. Um, we've got uh, Fist of the North Star gameplay. Um, it's by the same people who made Yakuza, so hmm. obviously that's going to be godlike. Um, I don't know if anyone has played Yakuza yet, but I haven't played it personally. But it looks really good. Um, I yeah, played I some not. of the older Yakuza games, so Fist of the North Star is going to be no joke. Um, graphically, it looks very like comic book style or sorry manga style um very animated very um cell shaded and but still detailed but it looks really good i'm excited um we have a sonic forces trailer i don't know who else is kind of excited to make their own um, character yeah i am man <laughs> i th- i'm waiting to see like i th- i think i'm gonna i'll i'll give him another chance it doesn't seem like out. the like the regular like Sonic colors and Sonic, and the I mean, the Black Knight or whatever. Colors was good. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Colors, know, was, colors good. was good. I know. All I know is Generations was the last good one. Yeah, Generations other than, was really good. Other than Mania, we everyone knows that Mania is good. Oh, Mania's got like I still haven't yeah. bought it yet, but I'm I'm going to. So. It is really fun. I love Mania. I love that game. Oh. it's been really fun. Yeah. Um, we also got an announcement of a uh, Sonic and Hooters um, what? collaboration. Partnership. <laughs> yeah, I, saw that. I don't know what's going on there, but um, all right. I don't want to be seeing no Rogue the Bat in Hooters outfit or Amy, Rouge, please. Yeah, Rouge. Okay, you say you don't want to see it. I don't want to see it, but I almost guarantee it's going to happen. But are you please sure don't. you don't want to see it? I don't want to see it, Tim. I don't. Mm-hmm. I'm past that phase. No more, <laughs> no more Sonic OCs. 
that I think are hot. Okay, it's done. It's over. I'm a grown man. I like anime girls now, Tim. I have I have my waifus now. I have waifus. Okay. Oh my gosh. Maybe a couple husbandos. I'm just joking. <laughs> but it's fine. Oh, that's great. Anyways, on the Sega news, we got Earth Defense Force Five. Oh no! Can you believe Wait. that game series is still going on? Uh, it's just, that's it's the bug so killing cool, one, right? Yeah, it's giant yeah. bug killing, like just wave-based giant bug killing. Dude, I remember wait, what was it? Earth Defense Force Four. I was still at GameStop, and the amount of people who came in to buy that game it blew my mind. Dude, those right. games are fun. Like, we should totally get it. I I would be down just because I've never played one, and I like killing bugs. So right. We can it kill remind, giant spiders together, guys. It, it would remind me of uh, what, uh, star, 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 Starship Troopers. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Starship Troopers. That was an amazing movie. So if I can live that, sure, why not? Like, Tim, are you going to be able to... Can you, bugs, can you like, play games with bugs? Okay. Look. Bugs in real life terrify me. Pokemon mm. bugs are my favorite Pokemon. I don't know what that's about, but it's true. And... I don't know, okay? I'll... I think there's some psychological problem there. <laughs> there probably is. Like, I've always loved Pokemon, bug Pokemon. It's always my favorite type of Pokemon. But a bug, a moth, if a, but if a moth flies at me in real life, I'm a run the other way. I think you're, I think you're afraid to achieve your dreams. If I you really Earth's want these bug Pokemon, be you're just running away from what you really want, Tim. If a pr- giant praying mantis runs at me, I wouldn't know what to feel. I'd feel very conflicted. On one you hand, feel conflicted? I, on one hand, I could catch a little scyther and be happy and live my dream. On the other how hand... How giant are we talking? I don't, I don't know. Like, like six know. foot? How big? <laughs> I, would, I would freak out at that point if I saw a six foot praying mantis. A six foot praying Like if, if there's a six foot praying mantis running at me, there's not going to be any hesitation like, oh, this would be a cool fo- fun Pokemon to catch. No, I'm <laughs> running. I am gone. Oh, I'm oh, gone. So, so what you're saying is me running away from a little moth flying at me is crazy, but me wanting to try to catch a six foot praying mantis is even crazier. Yeah, I don't get. I it. think there's some some deep underlying psychological issues at that point, Tim. I think there's something we need to uncover. I don't know. You can cut things. I'm on. I'm grabbing my I'm grabbing my sword instantly, <laughs> and I I will I will fight that thing. I'll, I'll never have to worry about a tree getting in my way. He'll no I would try it. to uppercut it as best I could. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Just yeah. punch it. Yeah, I, I got those long it. necks, man. They do. Yeah, they do, man. It'd probably fall over, to be honest. I feel like it would be one. Did you guys ever watch the movie Pixels? They can also no, fly. No, Tim. I watch good movies. Okay? okay, Pixels was a solid movie, in my opinion. Oh. Did you Did you go see the Emoji movie? You go see the Emoji movie. <laughs> hey, you never know. That could be solid too. Okay. No, Tim. No. It's. Just I've okay I've okay I even just recently bought Pixels again to watch it because I enjoy oh, it. God. Okay. Bought it? Yes, I enjoy. Bought Pixels. it with money, with the real yes. money. Yes, with real money, with the money that I have earned through my career choice. That needs to. I'm gonna stop talking about that part. But yes, yes, and it was enjoyable because I like Adam Sandler. Okay, I like Kevin James. Okay, and I like Peter Dinklage. Okay, and it had all three of them in a movie starring video games. How was I not going to enjoy starring it? Starring video games. Starring video games. <laughs> okay. So, sue me for enjoying a movie about everything I ever loved. No, man. To, to each their own. You do you. But remember that scene in the trailer where I forgot his no, name? Tim? Pac-Man guy. <laughs> we have, as soon as I we saw, have not seen it. As soon as I pop it up on YouTube and it's like Pixels trailer, I turn it off immediately. I'm going to force you guys to watch it. No, You're not. good luck with that. It's going to happen. I own you it on try. Amazon, so it's portable for me. I'm just going to log in at your house, and we're going to watch it. I'll tell you what, Tim. We'll make that a uh, we'll make that a fundraising goal for our charity stream. Okay. If oh! You, if, yeah. if you personally can bring in enough donations... How much? We'll, set, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll set a goal at a later point in time, but if you okay. can bring in enough donations yourself... Why me myself? and Trey will sit down. That's not fair. Well, well, because like, it, why would why would me and Trey raise money for us to watch the Right, I don't want to suffer the, through that the garbage. The Pixel movie. Right, so but, if you personally get people to donate... I think it should be a goal. I think we should hit a goal, and if we hit a goal, you guys have to watch that. And then if we hit another goal, you can make me do something and watch something that I won't want to watch. You know what? I'm also... While Fair we're enough. at it, I'm going to drop another bomb. I didn't think Wonder Woman was all that great. Boom. Bomb oh, my drop. God. Come at me. All right? I bought it. You're saying... It. 
Faced, faced with only watching one movie for the rest of your life, you were picking Pixels over Wonder Woman. Yep. Oh my god, Tim. Leave right now. Turn off yep. your camera. Cut like, your mic out. I watched Wonder Woman, and I'm going to tell you, try to not spoil this as much as possible for people who haven't seen Wonder Woman, because I know it just came out on Blu-ray and stuff. I predicted who the bad guy was right away. I had no questions. Like, yep, he's going to be the main bad guy. You know why? Because it's one of those things that they try to be so unpredictable that it's completely predictable. It was it was not a bad movie. Let me state that. The movie wasn't a bad movie at all, by any means. Maybe it was the fact that everybody hyped it up so much that when I finally got around to watching it, I was just like, meh. But I don't know. I didn't find it, like, as everyone's saying how great it was since Spider-Man 2. And I'm like, no, it's not. Well, I wouldn't even say that. Just saying. It was a good movie. Bomb drop. But I don't know if it was Spider-Man 2 good movie. I think, yeah, but, yeah, that's my thoughts. Boom. Why not hit you okay. with them? All right. I guess you're allowed to have an opinion on that, mm. but mm. it's wrong. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> back to back to Tokyo Game Show. I've got a, a few last things, and we can wrap this up. We've got a new uh, Sengoku Musou, which is like a um, animated um, Dynasty Warriors. It's about like the the reign of Chinese empires and Japanese empires, and it's all anime, and it's all good, and it's super cool. It's all good. Um, we have a new Dot Hack game. Uh, dot hack gu last recode coming out november nice. 1st on console november 3rd on pc in in the u.s aren't they doing a um like a trilogy re-release or something as well yeah that too um I, i'm actually interested in getting that because those games um they they meant a lot to me i haven't played them in forever but the anime you... was like one of those first animes that i got to watch when i was younger during uh, i was gonna say the adult swim late night <laughs> tsunami days I remember you, Will, and uh, Victor, like always talking Hell about yeah. uh, Dude, it dot was, hack on launch. It was Sword Art Online before Sword Art Online. Mm. Uh, Sword Art Online. That needs to become a freaking Vive game already or Oculus game, whatever. Get. Mm, okay. There's another. Maybe it's not kind of the same thing, but there's an, there's another called Game or Game On. Some new like video game anime. There's a bunch of video game animes this one's like like just brand new though game oh, on i forget fuck i forget what it is you I'll to, it. I'll, yeah i'll look it up after this and i'll, I'll shoot it your way but i don't i don't know if it's like log some... horizon that's another one that got pretty popular log horizon yeah hmm. same same storyline as um sword art pretty much uh, you remember Walking the um Oh, Summer Wars. That had oh, a cool. Yeah. Oh, so that had good, a really man. cool. Uh, uh, Wait, there was a, there was something recently that reminded me of it, and I can't think of it now. It was an anime. Was it another Digimon movie? I can't remember. I saw the trailer for something, and it had that same art style, and I got really excited, and I can't remember the name of it now. But I'm gonna look it up. But it had the same art style as Summer Wars. As like they, uh, as like Digimon and Summer Wars and all that. Mm, mm-hmm. Nice. So, yeah. so I'm gonna find it. Can can I just ask a random question? Uh-huh. Just because I know you said you have a couple more we have to go through here for TGS, but yes. was there like no Microsoft news, or did we already pass that? Like, dude, Microsoft does not do anything in Japan. In Japan, oh, yeah, okay. that it is like it is dead. The Xbox they're is selling the worst selling console. Okay, that they're selling so. that they're selling Xboxes so. as Blu-ray players. Like I, was, HD Blu-ray I was just gonna say that they're they're advertising them over there as HD Blu- uh, Blu-ray players. That's kind of funny. I remember when the original Xbox came out, and apparently it was called the Black Box of Death over there or something. Like they were. It not, wouldn't surprise me. It would like I. It was like a big thing. Like because you know how you know when G4 was a thing, and it was actually cool to watch G4 because oh, it was actually G4, good man. stuff, right? Yeah, there was a. Uh, I watched a lot of uh, a lot of shows on G4 because everything was. Generally, gaming related, and it was freaking awesome. Attack, uh, Attack right. of the Show, Attack of the Show was phenomenal. Um, Definitely. A- and one of the things they were doing, like a little documentary over like the Xbox and all this stuff. And I remember them doing a segment where the original Xbox did not sell very well at all, and at, in Japan, and it was called like the Black Box of Death. And the yep. only reason I, they said, like one of the main reasons that they decided to do a second Xbox was pretty much primarily because of Halo. Mm-hmm. And that's the only reason. Well, not I wouldn't. It wasn't like the only reason, but it was the primary reason as to why the Xbox actually wound up succeeding in the United States was because of Halo. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. 
I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah, because like the multiplayer that. that Halo Two brought, like it, it just sold systems almost by itself. Oh, for sure. I'm there. It. it was like the the next generation's GoldenEye. Right. 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 As a matter of fact, didn't at my house didn't we do like a Halo Three release party? Yes, we did because of all the all the game fuel we fucking bought. Oh my god! Yeah, all like the cases of game fuel. <laughs> the cases of game fuel, man. Yeah, That's I probably why I've got ulcers. Just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why that very moment. That That's very, what set I'm everything so sorry. in motion. I just remember we all gathered up our consoles. We played Halo Two for hours until Halo Three came out. We all got our Halo Three. Did the same thing hours on end, playing Halo Three matches. God, that was a good time. It was really good. Good I time. St- I still have my Halo helmet. It sits on my dresser. It's called New Game, by the way. That anime. Oh, New Game. Okay. New Game. And I don't know anything about it. It could not be anything like Sword Art Online, but I just remember seeing something on Kotaku about it, and it stuck in my mind. So there we'll you go. Check it out. For sure. Um, so the last couple things. I'm going mm-hmm. to rapid fire a little bit. Um, so yep. we got... Um, a reveal trailer for Android 21 in Dragon Ball Fighters, mm. as yeah. well as a gameplay trailer for Yamcha and Tien. Cool. Um, Android 21 is um, my new waifu. I can't wait to see what she does. Or if she's even right. playable in the game. Maybe. We'll see. All I know is she has something to do with 16. Mm. I, um, real real quick, th- this won't take up too long, but because you're, you're mentioning if she's going to be playable, I miss unlockable characters. Dude, yeah. that'd be cool. Two. Oh That'd be cool gosh. if she was like like after you beat the story, she's a she's a playable character. Like, don't make DLC packs. I mean, or like that's cool. Make DLC packs after the game's out to extend the life. But like, start me off with like maybe six characters and like let me unlock them as I go through the story mm-hmm. or do certain things. Like Smash Brothers has that shit down to a T, or at least they used to. I forget if the last one did or not. No, I didn't. Yeah. See that that was just oh yeah because you you just had to play a certain number of matches. Yeah. Just having like different requirements was so cool, but new move, challenger move approachers. Yeah, like that was that was so so exciting to see that. Yep. Right. So yeah, good, keep man. keep going with your rapid fire. I just um, wanted to mention that we've got a new virtual on game coming out. I think it's called like Magical something Virtual on, but uh, that looks pretty cool. I don't know if anyone's played Virtual on, but it's also a arena fighter, but it's more of a mech fighter arena. Uh, maybe build your own. I can't remember if it was this one or the other game. But basically, yeah, an arena robot fighter game. That looks really cool. Um, nice. Code Vein, which is the anime answer to uh, like Bloodborne and yeah. uh, Dark Souls, which is amazing. Um, yeah, that's interesting. A very popular Japanese band got signed to make the music for the game, so that's going to be oh, really cool. Oh, cool. Um, I can't think of the name of the band off the top of my head, but if you Google it, I'm sure it'll pop up. Um, we also got a new trailer for Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations 2, which was originally a PS2 game, I do believe, and it looks pretty dang good. Like, oh man, 4K Gundams that you can see from the ground, like you look up and a Zaku's looking down at you, is pretty terrifying. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, and there's the one last game that I want to talk about. Um, it's called A City in Shadows. And it's just like this huge mashup of like, um, you're playing as regular human beings, but you're 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 surviving in a Godzilla attack, mixed with like, common rider happenings, mixed with like all these like different Japanese like shows that used to come out in the '70s, and it just looks really cool. And it's by the guy who made Dark Souls. What? Yeah. Wow. What? So I'm I'm interested to see how this is gonna go because some of the the screenshots that I saw, it was like these two characters, you know, gun and gun in hand, but then they like turn and like Godzilla's, you know, blowing up the city, and then like another scene was like two common writers fighting with each other, and I'm I'm very interested in this game. All I love right. Japanese like TV shows like that, especially Common Rider. Whew. I'm excited for that one. It looks really good. That's all that I've got for Tokyo Game Show. I don't know if you have anything to add, Mr. Trevor. No, no, I don't. You you pretty much covered everything. Um, I, I, I was honestly, I, I, I didn't think of. there was a, like, I know we talked about a lot, but there wasn't anything, like, too too mind-blowing. It was just a lot of, like, no big reveals, at least. 
I was what? I was kind of hoping we were going to see a little bit of Kingdom Hearts three, but I think everyone was hoping we were going to see Kingdom Hearts three yeah. and Final Fantasy seven remake. Yeah. Um, someday. Yeah, those are the only, those are the only things that I think we miss out on. At, yeah. Uh, at a TGS, yeah. which is it sucks, but I mean TGS is usually the big showing for Square Enix and Capcom. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's all right. It was a good TGS still. We got our yeah. new announcements of stuff that I'm excited yeah, for. Still, like still got new announcements. Monster Hunter release date, like so soon Dude. too. You know, right? Dude, it's oh yeah, quick. That's so yeah, we knew awesome. It was we knew it was going to come early in 2018, but having a January release date is really, really good to start off the, yeah. the new year with. Two days after my sister's birthday. So that's nice. Be, that's what are we getting it on? Off. <laughs> PS4. PS4? Duh, Tim, come on. Maybe PC. On. Who knows? Come on, I, Sam. You, I, we've, I, we've indulged you for your, your Xbox titles. I think it's time you return the favor a little bit. Yeah, come on, Tim. I, I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends on PS4 that want to play Destiny 2 so bad, but they can't play with me. Tim, you're welcome. And then hey, you we got you just, to the raid. You joined another clan. I didn't join we, another clan. I we all got it. Clan we all got it on with. Xbox for you, Tim, because we wanted to play with you. And you're like, well, I, I've got better friends to play <laughs> with. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. You're just oh, on wait. your own. Didn't the faction rally stuff come out? Um, I think that doesn't come out like. In a day or two? Uh, Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, in a couple days, yeah. I think. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, I have to remember that. I got but, some beta tickets from my <laughs> mailbox. I don't so know what those are for. It, it's just, I have no idea. But it's, so I'm 305 now, right? I'm at max light level Damn. or power level. And I don't really have anything to do. Did you not get those tickets in the mail? Yeah, I did. It's okay. for the, uh, like, looking for group, basically. Oh. Um, so I'm all down at this point that if I have some free time and I'm not doing anything to help whoever, that's why I said Wednesday, you know, y'all want to raid? Psh, let's do it. Let's that's do awesome. It. That'd be cool. Well, I, I think uh, since we since we covered everything, that's probably good uh, wrap up point. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Cool. Solid well, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in for another uh, another week of uh, Famcast here. Um, we we would appreciate your feedback. Let us know what uh, what you thought of Tokyo Game Show this year. Uh, what what excited you the most? Uh, what you're looking forward to uh, later this year and early next year? Um, so definitely uh, leave us a review on iTunes, Google Play, and uh, some comments on YouTube. We, we definitely appreciate it. Also keep in mind we've got our Extra Life Charity Stream coming up end of October. Uh, that'll be the last weekend of October, the 27th through the 29th. You'll be able to watch that on our Twitch channel. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash forallmanakind. And if you want to jump in, uh, throw some ideas in the meantime, you can always jump in our Discord chat as well. We've got our uh, For All Mankind Discord. Feel free to jump in some games with us, chat, join us on Destiny, whatever you want. We're uh, more than happy to uh, to communicate with you guys and get uh, get some games rolling. So that's it for this week with episode 16, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Later, guys. I love pixels. Oh, man. Cut that. Cut that, please. Don't you dare.